वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन मोर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन बिलमेन्स थियरम सो हियर यू सी वी हैव बीन गिवन विथ सर्किट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर एंड वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड करंट आई थ्रू टू ओम रजिस्टर राइट एंड दैट वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड बाय मिलमेन्स थियरम इफ यू सी my previous video based on milman's theorem then that explains what it explains you if you have parallel combination of series of resistance and voltage source then that will be equivalent to series combination of resistance and equivalent voltage right and to identify that voltage basic formula that we have calculated that was V is equals to V1 Y1 plus V2 Y2 up to Vn Yn divided by Y1 plus Y2 plus up to Yn and equivalent resistance R that was 1 divided by Y1 plus Y2 up to Yn where Y1 Y2 those are admittance Y1 is 1 by R1 Y2 is 1 by R2 likewise we need to apply the values right now if you observe that circuit is similar to this where here this resistance and voltage source and this resistance and voltage source that is there in parallel to each other right so here i'll be considering that as equivalent resistance and voltage source over here as per milman's theorem and here i'll be considering this 2 ohm resistor through which we are deal with to find current as load right so now our agenda is to identify what is the value of r and what is the value of v so as per milman's theorem value of r that is 1 by y1 plus y2 and here what is y1 y1 is 1 by 15 and what is y2 y2 is 1 by 18 and if you solve this you will be getting this r that is equals to 8.18 ohm right now similarly we can have value of v and as per milman's theorem value of v will be v1 y1 plus v2 y2 divided by y1 plus y2 now let us substitute the values then v1 is 5 voltage and y1 is 1 by 15 so this will be 5 by 15 plus v2 is 6 voltage and y2 is 1 by 18 so this will be 6 by 18 divided by y1 is 1 by 15 and y2 is 1 by 18 and if you solve this you will be getting voltage v that will be 5.45 voltage now we got the value of r and v let us substitute it over here 8.18 ohm and this v that is 5.45 voltage right so now we can identify current i by applying kvl in the loop so now we have only one voltage source and that is happening from minus 2 plus so i can say that is 5.45 and that is equals to voltage drop across each of these elements so voltage drop across this r that is i into 8.18 plus voltage drop across 2 ohm that is i into 2 so if i wanted to have value of current i then that will be 5.45 divided by 8.18 plus 2 and if you solve this you will be getting this current value i that is equals to 0.5354 ampere so this is how i can identify current passing through this 2 ohm resistor now if you want few more parameters like how much power is getting dissipated 
then I can be able to solve it even power at load means at 2 ohm resistor that will be I square RL and here this is having current 5354 square into RL is 2 and if you solve this then that will be 0 0.5733 watt. So Milman's theorem that is very useful to simplify network very easily but that is applicable for parallel combination of series of resistor with battery right it is not applicable to all types of network it is applicable to this type of network only I'll explain you a few more examples related Milman's theorem so that will resolve your understanding furthermore I hope you have understood this video